Okay, so I'm going to do this on the fly. I'm going to do this on the fly again. Um, so bear with me if it's a little bit disjointed. One of the problems I've had with him is his inability to do anything that I like around like that, okay? So there's three Kongs on the wall and he has difficulty being with me when the Kongs are there, okay? So he's so interested in the toy that, that moves that he has difficulty doing other, <coughs> excuse me, doing other, good lads doing other things. So what I'm doing here is I'm reinforcing him for engagement with me away from the Kong. Now that's skipping back, that's, that's, that's still about this Kong. Hi son. Let's go and get it. Good boy. Okay, so I ask him to come with me. Ask him to move away with me. Good lads. Nice son, nice. Have a bite. Good. Later. Later. Good. And then I see if he can come with me. Okay, so he's finding that difficult. Now the very fact that I can get him to take food here is a big deal because when, I, when he first came to stay with us, he couldn't even do this. He wouldn't have taken food in the presence of this toy. Lovely son. You coming? Hello boy, come on. Good lads. Let's go and get it. Okay, so he's struggling there, okay? So, I have to, good. I have to give him the toy occasionally. What I'm trying to do is build up the amount of times that he'll take food before good lads. Go get it. Before I can give before I give him uh, before I give him the Kong, okay? Before I give him the toy. Good lad, go get it. And we've just started this, so this is just as it's happened. This is only the third or fourth time that I've done this with him. Nice son. Good. Ah boy. Later. With me. Yes. And the reason that I'm doing this is that I actually find it difficult. Hello, boy, this way. To get work out of them. Good boy. So, what I'm going to do is. So you see here, he's now refusing that food as a piece of cheese and he's not taking that because he's too wired about the Kong. Good lad. So, you might be wondering here that am I actually not giving him stuff? Is this, is this now not defeating the purpose that by giving him the Kong he wants the Kong am I, and by giving it to him am I now not just kind of paying into what he wants. Yeah, I am. So I run, I do run a risk here that he will just learn to disengage from me in order to get the Kong. But what I have to do is keep his arousal and his frustration level down. Good lad. In order to keep him working with me so that there is risks to doing this with him and I am aware of that. But good lad. The other thing that I'm doing here though is I'm satisfying his need for the Kong, okay? So, if I drain some of that need to chase the Kong, he now might be more willing to work with me. So, because I've thrown it half a dozen times now, a boy, I want to see if he'll engage with me for food, with foods, or at least use the food a little bit. Good. Good boy. This way. You ready? Oh, catch it. So I can use the food in different ways. Ready? Catch. Yeah, good boy. Catch. So he likes catching the Kong. So if I use catch. Good boy. Get it. Catch. Good boy. Where is it? Find it, son. Okay. So we must fire there. Okay, pal. All right. Good lad. Ready? Good. 
Okay, so it still needs a little bit of work, but that's not, it's okay. And uh, that's better than it's been. So he needs to play with the Kong now. So I'm just gonna, because he's telling me that he does. All right, thoughts on that, questions or comments, stick them below and uh, I'd be interested in hearing what you think about that or how that relates to your own dog. Atta boy. And thanks for watching, thank you.